Andy, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Good, man. Yeah, how are you? Good to see you. How you doing? Hi, Chum. How's it going? Pretty good. What do you got here? Well, check these out. I know they're from Sleeping Beauty. I think they're original drawings. Sleeping Beauty. You took some poison or something like that and went to sleep, and then a prince woke her up. Do you remember the movie, Chum? I heard of it. Usually there's some poison and apple and a prince charming like myself involved. <laughs> I'm Randy Couture. Came by the shop to see Rick today because I'm hoping to get some cash for these Disney drawings. I've got a foundation for wounded vets. The money will go directly to my foundation. I mean, for a charity, I'll put somebody to sleep, whether they're a beauty or not. These are amazing. But why in the world do you have them? I mean, you just don't seem like the guy who collects <laughs> Disney art. <laughs> I literally found these in my garage. And I'm not sure if an old girlfriend or an ex-wife left them, but I think they're worth money. And I've got a great foundation. The money will go to a good cause. So you can help me out. Tell me what they're worth. I'd love to sell them. OK. These are production drawings. By 1959, Walt Disney had this down to a science. You would do these drawings, then they would transfer these to the cells, and he used a multi-plane camera. This camera had multiple cells that were stacked up. You'd be changing the pictures constantly on the top one, but the bottom ones you'd make really large and just slowly move them a little bit for each frame. That's why a Disney film looks so great, because you're looking at seven layers of film Pretty labor intensive, huh? Yeah, I mean, there was millions of drawings involved in a Disney film back then. 24 frames a second, and you're looking at hour and a half long movies. It was a production nightmare because you'd be 20 guys working on one scene, you'd have to make sure everything melded together right. It sort of boggles the mind that you can draw something this nice and draw hundreds of them every day. Yeah, these pop up from Disney movies every once in a while, but in the 1950s, no one thought these things were worth money. These, they would just toss right in the trash. But every once in a while, this stuff comes up, and uh, they're worth really good money. I mean, they're all certified and everything. They're original. The Sleeping Beauty, Walt Disney, 1959. I think they retail for around 1000 bucks a piece. That much? Yeah, it's animation. A lot of times, you just see in the back of their head or something like that. These are, like, really good portraits of Sleeping Beauty. So I'll give you four grand. I'll write a check to your charity right now, and we'll see what happens with it. Awesome. Deal. Deal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not done negotiating here. It's not quite a deal. Really? Yeah. This is for charity, right? Yep. You want to add another 500 bucks to it? <laughs> sure. All right. You just drop your belt off here for a week and let me wear it. We'll throw another <laughs> 500 on it. You want to wear my belt for the week? I want to feel what it's like to be a champion. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll do that. You have really? to clean it, though. I'll polish it myself, <laughs> as long as Rick throws in the 500. You just spent 500 bucks on my money so you could wear a belt. It's for charity. All right, it's a deal, man. I'll go write him up over there and get him a check. Don't talk to the champ like that. I had no idea they would be worth that much money. 4500 bucks going straight to a charity to help wounded soldiers doesn't get much better than that. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.